Hello everyone. In today's video, I am back with another weekly cash stuffing. This is going to be for week number three of February. I hope you all had a great week this week. This video will come out probably Sunday like it always does. So I hope this week goes really good for y'all. Here where I live, we're having really pretty weather. It's funny because like, I guess it was like a week ago, maybe it was two weeks ago. We had like a super big freeze. Everything was frozen and like it took all kinds of trees down all around the city. But now it's like 84 and people are out at like the pool and stuff. So it's just looking like summer already. I'm getting really, really excited about that because I do have a girls trip planned somewhere. I don't know yet where, but we're thinking either Seattle or New York. So that'll be like probably towards June-ish. So I'm getting really excited for the summer. But again, I hope you all are having a great week. This week we are working with a total of 963 bucks. For those of you who are new or for those of you who don't know, I am a server based here in Texas. Um, I am also a zero-based budgeter. I'm a cash-based uh, cash budgeter. All of the money I make is in tips. They are cash tips. I make two thirteen dollars an hour, so I don't ever see any of that. It goes straight towards taxes, and everything you see here is coming from my daily tips. So if you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing, and if at any point during this video you like it, please go ahead and give it a like down below. I haven't said this in a while, and I just wanted to go ahead and show my appreciation to you guys because y'all really are the reason why I'm doing this. I, I wouldn't be making videos for nothing, and I, I appreciate you all so much for watching these videos, liking these videos, commenting, subscribing. So thank you guys so, so much for doing so. Let's go ahead and get into today's cash stuffing. Again, 963 is what we're working with. I always like to tell you guys my daily income just because I figure why not. So let me get that for y'all. So on Tuesday, I made 274. Wednesday was 125. Thursday was 155. Friday was 193. And Saturday was 216. It has been fairly slow at my restaurant right now. Generally speaking, January, February are very slow. The only day that's, that's busy is Valentine's Day during that time. And then we do start picking up during March and then, of course, into April and May. So I am looking forward to some better income coming soon. But I'm just going to work with what I got for now. Let's go ahead and get this money counted. We will get organized and we'll get it stuffing. Alrighty, else so we have 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 900, 10, 25, 35, 45, 55, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3. So 963. It's organized. And I need to get my nails done so bad. I'm, I'm looking forward to doing so. I think my, my friend said that she might do it, but it is looking really rough. And now that I'm behind the bar at work, I like, I cut myself much more frequently just because of the work back there is a little bit different. So I really need to get my, my nails done, but uh, let's go ahead and get straight into the stuffing. So starting off with rent. Rent this week is going to get 220 and that's just to kind of even things out here. Normally it's 250. All of my bills I do split in half with my boyfriend, so everything you're seeing here is my half. Let's take this one and then we'll do 120 in 20s. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20. So 120 plus 100 is 220. And let's get this counted. That brings rent to 1, 2, 3, 50, 4, 4, 50, 70, 95, 10, 30, 50, 70, 96, 10, 30, 50, 70, 97, 10, 30, 50, 70, 98, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 9, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 1,000, 10, 30, 50. So 1,050 now in rent. I'm still not feeling my, the, the greatest. I have had some sinus issues and some allergies for about, I guess, five or six days now. I'm, I'm really, really over it. I'm hoping that they clear up very soon but we will see for subscriptions. I'm going to put five bucks. So let me just go ahead and grab a 10 instead. I'll pop that in there. And that brings subscriptions to 20, 40, 60, 70. 
I normally only get allergies about twice a year, but whenever I do get them, they're really, really bad. And they're most almost they're almost always associated with a sinus infection, which I think I am starting to get. So that really sucks. But uh, at least I guess at least it only happens twice a year. It's not too bad, I guess. Uh, cell phone is gonna get 25. So let's do what would that be? 25, 30, 40. Okay, yep. Let's do 40 instead. Grab two 20s. 20 and 40. And that brings cell phone to 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200 now in there. So that is a full month ahead and we still have a week to go. Uh, electricity. Electricity is going to get 35. So that would be 40. And I just paid this this, this past week. So this is going to be the amounts for next month. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90 is already in there. For child care, this is going to get 70. So we'll do three 20s and a 10. So 20, 40, 60, 70. I have a 10 year old, so I'm not paying for a regular daycare. This is going to be after school care for him. Regular daycare is so, so expensive. I do not miss paying that. This is the much cheaper option. It now has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. 390 now in child care. For internet, it's going to get five. So I think I have a five in here. Yep. Grab a 10 instead. Internet now has 20, 40, 60, 70. For my dental insurance, I'm going to throw five in here. Do I need these ones? I might, what I'll probably do is just instead uh, put these ones back. Grab a, grab a 20, actually, because if I put that back, it would be a 10. I put another 10, it would be 20. So that brings dental to 40. For health insurance, it's going to get 10. So just pop a 10 in here. That brings health insurance to 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. I did pay off everything from my credit card, so that's good. Debt fund this week is going to get 150. So let's do 20, 40, 60, 81, 120, 140, and 150. And what I'll do is I'll put, it, put these two tens back and just grab a 20 before I count this. Now, this isn't going to be, I'm going to count this and it's going to be um, a little off because I did, I did still 20 bucks in this envelope that I am going to put back. So Debt fund now has 1, 2, 50, 70, 90, 3, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 4, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 5, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 6, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 7, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 8, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 9, 10, 9, 30. So whenever I put that 20 back, it'll be 950, and that's what I'm going towards. So I'm going to say 950 because I am going to put that 20 back soon. And then this is the money that I've made this week so far. So 5.30 went into bills, moving on to cash envelopes. We have 4.33 remaining. Getting in to gas, this is a, um, gas for my car. It's gonna get 15, so I'm gonna do a 20. And that brings gas to 30. And then for groceries, we're gonna do a 70. So we'll do, uh, let's, do 20, let's do 60. And then five and another five. So 20, 40, 65, 70. 70 now in there. For spending, I'm going to stuff a little bit more than I normally stuff. I One of my goals this year, one of my personal goals, not related to budgeting at all, but is to become more social. I have a habit of just coming home and staying home and then like that's it like I never I never go out. I I'm I'm really a homebody. I really love the home that I live in and I love being at home. So I'm very much trying to get out of my comfort zone and 
like make new friend circles. So I, I, I joined a book club recently and I'm going to be going Thursday to an escape room with a different group of friends. So I am going to overstuff this because of that. I'm going to do 20. I'm just going to do two 20s actually. So we'll do 40 is now in spending. I'm going to make sure that I'm actually recording this really quick because I have a really bad feeling. I'm not going to be one second. Okay, we're good. That's that's good to hear. Spending, now spending's done. Dine out's gonna now going to get uh, 10. So I'm going to pop a $10 bill and that brings that one to 50. This is an envelope for my boyfriend and I just to have some fun. And then tithes is going to get 10. So I'm going to pop a 10 in here. And that brings tithes to 30. Now this last little envelope is my deposit envelope. This is money that needs to go back towards my bank or back to my bank. And this has like uh, my electric in there. This will make some bills that I had to pay throughout the week. So that's going back to the bank. 145 went into bills. Now moving on to my Savopoly challenge. I did leave $35 left over. So I will be able to roll this week. 35 is the max that I could roll which is great because I didn't want to have to like not roll again. Last week I had to just move my spot over without rolling because I only had $10 that I could uh, allocate. But this week we are going to roll. So again, we were here, let me save that. We were here on save 10. Let's go ahead and roll. Five, so one, two, three, four, five is save 32. So we're gonna put $32 into Saveopoly challenge. And I did double check uh, for you guys that want to maybe do this challenge. I have two in the description box below that I recommend. One of them I like because it is a low income one. So for those of you who um, are wanting to do maybe an extra challenge, not wanting to spend a lot on it, or maybe that's what you can do right now, um, that's the other option down below as well. So that's 20, 31, two 20 31 two going into my Savopoly challenge and i need to figure out where i want to put three dollars so i'm going to write this down and i'm going to allocate three bucks all right i've decided i'm going to throw that random three dollars in holiday fund but let's go ahead and get into the blue sinking fun binder and for christmas this week i'm going to put 25. so we'll just do probably a 20 and a five yep do a 20 and a five. We have, we have a good amount of five, so that's good. Because a lot of the time whenever I'm doing my sinking funds, it's just like throwing like five bucks here, 10 bucks there. Christmas now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 30, 50, 70, 90, 210, 220, 225. For my essentials envelope, this is, of course is for... Um, it's kind of actually, it's kind of a catch-all envelope. I've mentioned this to you guys before. It's more for whatever I need kind of like not around the household, like my own personal needs, I guess. Uh, feminine hygiene products, shampoos, conditioners, face serums, copays, like, like I said, like kind of like a catch-all. It's going to get five. So I'm going to go ahead and do a $5 bill and it now has $45 in there. And then my son's envelope. So I do invest my son's, the, the money that's in here into an investment account. These placeholders just represent the money that is in the investing account or in my bank or whatever. There's different reasons why I have these, but in this particular envelope, it is to represent the money that I have in his investing account. These are also listed in my Amazon store from below if you guys are interested, but he's gonna get $25 this week. So I'm gonna do a 20 and a five. He always gets 25, that's like the, the minimum I put in there for him. If I have extra, I usually throw extra, but he now has one, two, that's 2,000, 50, 70, 90, 110, 30, 50, 70, 90, 95, 200. So 2,200 now in there. For, okay, so for the next two envelopes, I'm going to be skipping them, vacation and clothing, just not priorities right now, but car insurance, it, that has to get stuffed every week. I do a six month policy. So the money that I'm saving now is going towards the next six months. So $35 going in there, 20, 35, maybe. Yeah, instead I'm gonna go put these two tens up here because I probably need, will need them and just do a 20. That brings insurance now to 20, 40, 60, 80, 105. So 105 now in there. 
birthday is getting skipped. Yes, birthday is going to get skipped. Household. So this is for things around the house that I need, usually like toilet paper, um, trash bags, things like that. It's going to get five. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a $5 bill in there. It now has 25. Hustle is going to get $5. This is for my channel. So anything I need for my channel, put that five back, grab a 10 and it now has 30. And I'm going to skip car maintenance this week for diapers. This is a, an envelope for free to children. It's going to get two. So one and two. And that brings diapers to one, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one twenty-seven now in that envelope. Wedding is the same situation. It's for a future wedding. These two are not quite a priority right now, but I do want to just get ahead. So for those of you thinking like, I can only put like, like one or $2 a week towards some of these items, like don't fret about it. Go ahead and put your two bucks away because it will add up. Wedding now has one, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one twenty-seven. And that is all for the blue binder. Moving on to the other one. Uh, they're sinking fund binder starting off with annual fee my credit card's annual fee is 95 dollars a year and we are pretty far ahead considering so i'm going to pop five dollars in this envelope it now has 20 40 55 so we only need 40 dollars we so it's only february which is great holiday fund is going to get that random three dollars just because i didn't know where else to put it and I can't even think of the, I guess the next holiday would be Easter. Yeah. So might get my son like um, some candy and some eggs for that. And it now has 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars. For registration, I'm going to put five. This is my car's registration and inspection. So for those of you guys who are starting a budget or you're thinking of starting a budget, what I really like to do is just research. So um, there might be an envelope that you don't even know you need. And what I did is I went ahead and watched a lot of like budgeting videos. I Googled like sinking fund examples because registration, uh, annual fees, those are things that you might not think of that you need. But whenever you do need them, it's like, oh, I don't want to spend like $80 on that. This is a, a good option for you. That way you can save up little by little. It doesn't seem like that big of a cost on the back end. So that being said, uh, registration is going to get, did I already put five in there? I can't remember. Shoot. I don't think I already put five in there. I'm going to go ahead and put five and count this. Bridge registration to 20, 40, 65, 70. And if that's not right, I'll figure it out at the end. But, um, but yeah, just researching, sinking funds, watching a lot of these budgeting videos. And budgeting is a never ending process. Like one year you might have a certain amount of sinking funds. And then the next year you're going to realize, you might realize that, oh, I don't even need this one, but now I need to do a Disneyland one or something like that. So if you are starting the journey, don't, don't be overwhelmed. Like just start so somewhere and then eventually you'll get more comfortable. You'll get more used to it and you'll be able to do it a lot better. So uh, dental fees is going to get $8. So let's do a 10, put these two ones back. And that brings dental fees to one, 20, 40, 50. I was able to set up a new appointment to get my wisdom teeth removed. They required a hundred dollar deposit. So that's, that came out of here. And then it, that's going to be used towards my procedure. So that's another thing like dental fees. Like these are things that like that you really like would might consider during the year, but then whenever they come up, you're like 500 bucks. Like I don't have, I don't have 500 bucks to spend on my teeth, but having like these, having these envelopes really, really help out. Tattoo fund and back to school are going to get skipped. We're going to go to my emergency fund, which is a challenge for me. I'm doing $23 a week for the year 2023. So 20 and three ones, one, two, three. And that brings emergency now to 1, 20, 30, 40, 55, 6, 7, 8, 9, 61. So $161 now and there. For beauty, it's going to get $8. So that should be three ones here. Yep. And a five makes eight. 
And that brings beauty now to 20, 40, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3. So 63 now in beauty. And then that should be $100 left over. Let me double count just to make sure it is. 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 100. Okay, cool. So everything worked out. I'm going to throw this in my Roth. So this is another envelope that has these placeholders. Obviously, or not obviously, I guess, but I am investing my Roth into the market. So that's where that money is going. And that now has one, two, three, four, four thousand, five, six, seven, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, eight, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety five, nine, forty nine hundred now in there. Alrighty, y'all. So that does it for today's cash stuffing. Again, if you liked this video, please give it a like down below. Um, I will see you guys in my next cash stuffing video and then definitely look out for that unstuffing at the end of the month. But until then, I hope that your upcoming week is fantastic and I will see you in my next video. Bye.